Go to the question for the unusual organic mechanisms playlist. We're on to number seven now. I hope you like the video. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, why don't you think about doing that? But as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video, if you want to try it first. Okay, so we'll make a start. So the first part of the question isn't a mechanism, but the um, second part is. So that's why I've included it in the playlist. So you'll notice I've just written up a couple of things on the example uh, of this ozonolysis reaction. So I've broken that CC double bond and I'm telling myself that once that CC double bond's broken, each half, so this half here, has become a C double bond O, likewise there. So there's the answer to the first one, doing exactly the same thing as above. Um, it's a bit awkward, the fact that they've changed from this type of formula to skeletal. I mean, if you wanted to, you could draw this out in that format, but hopefully you can cope okay with the skeletal formula. So breaking the double bond and turning each half into a C double bond O. So we've made propanol here and ethanol there. And then moving up the second one, I'll drop the structure in a second, doing exactly the same thing, breaking that carbon-carbon double bond. This part here is going to become a C double bond O, and so is this part here. But because these are all connected in this ring, it's just going to spring open, and we're just going to get one product, which looks like that. So moving on to the mechanism itself, I've drawn up the part of the product that's going to be exactly the same as it is in the reactant. And then I'll explain what's happening uh, with these three curly arrows. So starting with this curly arrow here, so we've got, obviously there's a pi bond and a sigma bond in that CC double bond. So the pair of electrons in the pi bond have gone to that oxygen there. So basically what that's going to do is form a bond between the carbon and the oxygen. So we've got that there. And then if we move on to this curly arrow here, we've got obviously a sigma bond and a pi bond in this oxygen double bond. So the pi electron pair has gone on to the oxygen in the middle of this ozone molecule. So we get that there. So moving on to the third curly arrow, this one here. Now you'll notice nothing's happened uh, to this bond here. So if we just draw that in, because that's going to be exactly the same in the product, and then move back to this curly arrow. So a pair of electrons on the O minus part have gone to that carbon. So that's going to connect those two atoms together. So we'll get this ring formed. So it looks like that. 